you shall have your reward. The sorcerer spent the next few days looking for the abandoned Triune Temple Laura spoke of. She slayed the demons she encountered along the way, learning of their weaknesses and better understanding how they work together to better fight off threats. The experiences helped with her confidence in her newfound skills, and she worked on mastering the elements better and even intertwining them together to better defeat those who may be strong enough to be unaffected by one element alone. Upon the sunrise of the third day, off in the distance was a building, barely held together, burn marks all over the doors and around the windows, and murders of crows gathered atop the tallest beam still going across the length of what remains. She cautiously approached the building and in looking inside, nothing. Nothing struck out as potentially being anything demonic. There were no markings, no books, just nothing left. She takes a better look around, trying to cover every inch of ground to make sure that this isn't where she was supposed to be. And then with the end of her staff hitting the floor, a door opens to what could be a secret basement, not meant to be found by a common traveler. She sends down a couple of fireballs, waiting for any response, looking for any movement or signs of life. Again, nothing. She walks down the steps and closes the door behind her. She finds lanterns hanging on the walls and lights them to better assess the room, putting out the fire she sent down before. With all of the lanterns lit, the room opens up to a gruesome sight. Bodies of fallen warriors everywhere, some impaled in the wall, others on the tables in the room, and a few in pieces spread out across the room. She becomes on guard, waiting for an attack at any moment, coating herself in a cold spell to help freeze anyone attempting to attack up close. She sees a hallway in the back of the room and proceeds to slowly walk toward it. She starts walking through the pathway and sees a corner turn off to the side that has a light coming from it. She carefully walks to the corner and peeks around the side. She sees a room open up some distance out with a bright light in the middle of the room. She starts walking toward it and hears the sound of swords being drawn, ready for an attack. She slowly approaches the entrance of the room and sees a group of warriors standing around the bright light, swords now pointing at her. She points her staff in their direction, and as she's about to unleash a rain of fire upon them, one of the men then shouts out, Men, sheath your blades! He then slowly does so as he calmly says, She is not a demon, nor a threat. His men then follow suit and sheath their swords, and the sorceress draws back her staff. Though still unsure of what's to come of them, the warriors all step back closer to the light. Then their leader asks, What are you doing here? This is not a place for someone like you to be meddling around, sorceress. She steps forward into the room and quickly responds with, Who are you to judge me? I have no place to call home anymore because of the raid on my village by a band of demons. They spawned from a waypoint and slaughtered everyone, and I was blessed to escape their grasps. They spawned from one of these? He questioned, pointing to the unnoticed waypoint in the corner of the room. They did the same with us. Thankfully, they came and were met with a large group of us to kill them off quickly. They used these to find us, but we feel that they used portals, such as this one, to get here from the depths of hell. He then turns and looks at where the source of light was coming from. From the smallest hole in the ceiling came a strong piercing light that shined upon a sword placed on the ground, reflecting the light onto a tall hollow frame made of bones. The frame had five spikes coming from it, with each base of the point having a deep hole inside it. She stared at the portal for a moment trying to move closer toward it, but was immediately stopped. That portal is a gateway into hell. Do you not realize that this was once an outpost for the forces of hell to enter our world? This place was hidden for a reason, and we have been tasked with guarding this portal because the increasing return of the forces of hell into our realm. Although none have come through this one so far, we need to be prepared for whatever walks through it, and we cannot have someone of the likes of you trying to open it and give them another way here, he said, frustrated at her. She responds with, and I have been tasked with going through one to find the source of power of these shards. She then holds out one of the blood shards for them to see. The all goes silent as the leader walks up to her and grabs it, trying to grasp what it is. These hold a power inside of them that only rivals the world stone as they're supposed to be fragments of it when it was destroyed. And the only person that would know more about these is through that portal, chuckling. He looks closer at the shards and questions. This stone is that of the world stone, the one destroyed by Tyrael, the Archangel of Wisdom, who is filling your head with such foolishness? Those stories of legend were told to scare children, and those who truly would believe such tales are either buried in a bottle or under the ground. Not all, sir, said one of his men, Bastion. Xander, 
our faith teaches of these events. And with such a power as the world stone vanishing, what is to stop from such a power coming back in the form of pieces of its former self? Not amused, Xander walks over to him and says angrily, it also teaches of a mortal vanishing the greatest of both the high heavens and the burning hells. And that doesn't sound questionable. Neither side could truly slay the other, but one of us could. Of course there's both a heaven and a hell, but over the years since learning of the stories of legend, I've come to realize that they are just tales for entertainment. They are opposite sides of the same coin at war because one sees the other as a threat, but everything else is made up. It's just angels fighting monsters. What if the fear of the truth has turned those who once believed into said monsters? Bastion responded with, challenging Xander's ideals. In a very deep tone, Xander states confidently, even if the stories are true, those stones wouldn't have any power, especially that of the world stone. I've seen the power for myself, the sorceress interrupts. The power is dormant within the shards, and when used, they unlock the power. She stops talking as she glanced over at the portal, noticing the holes again at the base of its spikes. Laura said that they may unlock something. Could they fit inside and possibly open the portal? She moves closer before it's blocked. Xander screams, stay away from the portal, sir. If it is not opened, what harm could she be doing by observing it up close? We need to take into consideration that, even if you don't believe her word, that there are others in this world besides us, and they may know things that we don't. Let her through, Bastion said, challenging his superior. Xander reluctantly stood down and allowed her to walk over to the portal. She started looking up close at the five holes she found among the frame, then pulled out one of her blood shards. She questioned if it was able to fit inside, what would happen, if anything. She took the shard and slowly placed it inside the hole within the frame, and it immediately lit up. Xander immediately went to pull the sorceress away, but Bastion stood between them, blocking his path to her. He then screamed out to both of them, What are you doing? Why are you trying to open it? Do you realize what will happen if you do this? The sorceress continues placing the shards into the frame until the last one, then looks back and says, Me opening this portal allows both of us to complete our tasks. For me to find the one who knows more about these shards, and for you to defend the world for whatever comes through this portal. Only by doing this will we be closer to truly ending all the destruction from the demons of hell. Whether you're a believer or not, this is happening, so stand your ground and defend our world. She then places the last shard into the portal, seeing the center open up to travel through. She then hits the end of her staff on the ground and releases a ring of light to blind the warriors and give her a chance to escape. She runs through the portal, unaware of what she would see, what she would find on the other side, only knowing that whom she needs to find and the fate of Sanctuary lies inside.